Hello and welcome to Remy's Garage. Today we're going to be working on this Japanese import Nissan L Grand, which is another one of my vehicles. Uh, imported from Japan a month or two ago, and now here driving on the roads of Scotland. And what I'm going to be trying to do today, which is something I miss, is a cruise control how to install the cruise control because um, it is quite a bit annoying when you're used to cruise control um, not to have that but uh, I'll try and see if I can fit that today I've never done that before to any car the installation kit is like a, a wiring loom and we've got an arm a couple of bits of wire it looks like a uh, can bust on the ECU for it with different connections on it. So I'm going to try and attempt this for the first time. I think there might be a wee bit of soldering to be done. But anyway, we shall try that on this vehicle. So this is below the steering wheel. The first thing I need to try and do is get this panel off because I think we need to access the the OBD2 and under here I think these are wee screws of some kind I'll have a look at them because we're going to have to take this part off the stock's going to go that's the side there so the stock going to be coming out here where we're operating the cruise control um, and we'll see if we can get that off so I'm going to take this panel at the side off there's a wee black screw up there So, and this panel should lift off. So, that exposes that. So, I'll take this off. So we'll get it back on again. So these are just wee hex screws. I haven't found out what this button is for yet. On off, on off. I'm sure I'll find out one day. It's really difficult to catch these screws that's two It's like a ring that's come out of the ignition. Just leaves that free. There's the top bit off. And then the bottom bit. Right, so I'll leave that now because it looks as if I need to take this off. So this is tight at this end. And I wonder if it's got to do with these two switches that are clipped in there. That's the the bonnet release and the fuel cap release. So there are a couple of earth wires on this. Which I'll need to remember myself to put back on. ones okay. yep, so 
the switches come out and dangle. That's better. Now let's see. Okay, so these are just clips. There we go. And the other side. bit of better view. I'm just pulling that out so there's some clips in here. You need to take these bolts out the, the petrol cap opener and bonnet opener. I'm just looking to see what else is holding this on. It looks like just cables. That looks like a a temperature sensor in there, that side it's got a tube, there's a cable connecting over here looks like for these switches and we've got <coughs> these switches here which I think should just pop out until I was to expose all that so this cable in here is one of these tow card readers This is the fog light by the looks of it. It was installed. And we'll try and get these out. That's a grey one. The grey one, that's for the two doors. So push the tabs in. This one looks slightly different. Leave that in, so there it's there, the wee, <coughs> excuse me, clip in there. There's another cable over here, which is like the sensor for the ambient temperature. There's our hose. Okay, so I've got most of this part of the dash out. I just snipped that. Now this wee button down here I'm not 100% sure what that's for but I will have a wee gander around and see what's been connected to that or where it's connected to it's quite difficult to the EFS but I think I adjust the headlamps we'll take that out Put that back into position in here where it goes, and we could probably remove this. So, yeah, loads of things being connected to this car. So, now that we've exposed that, um, I'm going to go and have a look at the instructions to see if I can familiarize myself with all the the gubbins in here to see where that takes us so that's that bit out we'll probably need that so as we can drill a wee hole here and put that up the road out the road today and we'll put these parts over here so what the instructions are saying if we can read that um, is to connect the wiring loom that comes with the cruise control there's a red wire this wire here and there's a ground wire so we kind of know that's obviously supplying power this wee part is a fuse so what it's saying I understand is to connect this wire to that wire there I'm assuming that's going to give us a power supply so it's saying the 
connect the red wire to the red wire at the bottom of the fuse panel which is this wire here according to that now that's quite tight in there I will try and zoom in with that to let us see it a bit just to try and connect that to there, to there I've left this power wire alone for now it seems fairly straightforward once I get that the other part of the loom is like a a patch so we'll probably go to the ECU this side this is like a patch that will plug into the throttle control then the throttle control will plug into here um, and I'm showing these pictures but I'll try and stick them on so we're trying to get this off from under here and it's really difficult to see um, but I think the idea behind it is that we plug that in to the throttle body then we put the throttle body and plug it into here so we'll have another go at popping that off my light is not very good and we've not got a lot of room so it's quite difficult to video I'll to try and figure out how that comes off Okay, so pushing that in. Take the camera in there to try and let you see what I just did there. Okay, round the side of the brake. Try and get my light there. So this plugs into the throttle body over here. It's uh, not great, is it? You'll see me have disconnected it, so I'm now going to connect the new loom. If I can reach it and hold the camera. So this is the new loom. I'll pull that out the road. That goes on. Like that. And it is quite a tight fit. There you go, so that's on there. And the, the one that was in there plugs into here. So I'm going to have to let go of the camera and plug that in, so hold on, let's see if I can put the camera there. Yeah, so that might go that way, or is it that way, that looks like that way. There you go, so that's clicking in there. So hopefully, I'll try and get my torch on that now. That's the, the throttle body, and this is a new loom being wired into it. Okay, let me come out of there. That's the other loom. And like everything else, it's getting tangled in everything I seem to do. And my torch. Yeah, so we've kind of skipped that now, we'll come back to that power supply and this is what we've just done here, that's going to be the module, we figured out where I'm going to put that up there and we've attached it to the T-patch loom between the pedal and the vehicle's pedal loom, so we've done that, we'll come back to that, let's see what the next page says. saying sold the CAN bus signal wires to the wires at the OBD2 plug so this is what OBD2 plug I'm assuming that'll come off uh, there is a wire loom here for it curious to figure out what that is um, so what wire are we talking about the red and the black that's this cable here. I'm plug on that. So I'll figure out if I can have where that plugs into. So this is this OBD2 cable that will plug in to the module that comes with it here. And that's the one that's going to the throttle control. So I've now got to get these two wires into the back in here somewhere and it says 
So we've got red and black. And the red's going to pink. And the black's going to blue. So let me take that off. I think it's just two wee clips that hold that in. I might be able to do it here. So that'll push back, I think. There you go, that side. And that side. I'm doing it left handed. There we go. So we shall pull that out. I've got a lot of wires in here, sorry for moving that camera there. I'll just try to get that out there. There we go. So, here are the wires pink and blue. So, I've got two blue, one pink. So, I might take that wee sheath off here. It's saying solder the wires to the canvas signals wires to the wires at the OBD2 plug is showing is showing so there are two blue wires and it does say there pin 14 and pin 6 and I'm sure there was somewhere on here that says which pins which okay so I think I've figured that out so in the instructions, the blue pin 14 and the red pin 6, so if you've got that like so, that's the pink one, so we've got, that's number 6, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, I'm taking that 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, and that's where the blue wire's going in. Pin 14, so we need to connect these two. Let's watch that green one behind uh, to these two. Now, I'm not 100% sure about connecting these. I've got these, they're not the best, trust me. But they've all I've got now, and I just want to test that. If not, I will strip it back and get the soldering gear out and try and solder it properly but I'm going to try these I'm also going to try it on there for the power supply and I'm going to try and source some smaller ones of these for that so I'm going to strip that wire back and connect these two together so you can see that now very rough and ready and I'll probably have to feed that through cable through there to let us just to pop that back in oh no no that's coming out I think the back out of that that's coming in from the back there. I think the next part is about fitting the stock so I'm going to have a look at the stock and the cables so again, that will probably run up here somewhere. I'll have a look at that. But that's connected. I'm going to fit that back in here again. I'm going to have to push all these wires back to pop that in. And the last thing we need to do is figure out this, where the stock cables go into the two plugs. So I might do the, the stock wiring connection next to allow us to get all the wires down here then we'll mount everything and tidy all the cables up but that's the bulk of it done so that's where two wires it looks like power supply and that's where we'll be D2 in there we've got our steering wire connected in there a lot going on in there okay we shall take it from there see where we go so I've stuck this uh, cowling back on just to try and see where we position the arm and I'm just trying to get a perspective where I'm driving and where that should be so it's hard to see where all the stuff out so I'm just trying to think below here but I need to check in here what's actually behind there 
sorry, we had my camera down there. So I'm trying to think directly below there about there. That was just to see that. So I'm just trying to try and get a pen. And probably about there. That's a good guess, my green dot. And the thing about it is, you only get one chance at that. So that's going to be about there. So we're going to give that a go. We'll get that drilled, get this in, and we'll get the, the bottom part of it wired. But I just want to check what's behind here to make sure that that stock was in there. I set off my holes about here. And so there's plenty of room there eh, to do that. So let's look at the instructions and see what it says about drilling a hole. So, 10 millimetre hole here. I'm just going to start with a wee hole first to pilot it dead on my mark. Like that. And we'll step it up. It's about six. Probably could have went directly with the 10. this off you don't drop all the bits So that's me mounted that, that's going to be sitting on the car like that and we can adjust that, there's a wee clip goes in here which we've got, so that's going to go like so. And the next thing we need to do is to pin up the connections so you get these two connectors, and we'll look at the instructions in a second with that, so these pins go in a particular way there, and we'll get that in a minute. I've also just checking a couple of things. So that's the main supply into the wee module, or whatever it's called. And we've got our connections into the back of the OBD2 port via this. And I've clipped it on there again, not not great, but it's fine. Um, it's so far there is. It's not going to be touched in there. So what we need to do now is we get this on and we'll get the wire and we'll run it down, get that all secure. Uh, we've got all these wires back up and secure and find a place to put this module. So I'll tidy everything up and put everything back the way it came or the way it's supposed to be. Then we'll get this pinned up. We've got the orange wire in, so I'm setting these to look like that. The orange wire is going in the second one. I just want to make sure they're not able to pull back out again, which is fine. I've then got the white wire goes into that one there, which is the top row again. Up here. That should push in. We should hear a wee click in there but I can't really I can't really hear it so. that's better I've heard it that time so maybe this one's not quite in the position so you can see that hopefully it's right at the end yeah 
So these barbs, that's the D. Looking in that way, I think. That's better. So I don't know if you can see that the barbs are facing up the way. And if I make a mistake, that's why I've got these depinning tools. So that's like that. Then we've got the other one, which is the eight pole connector. So we're going to go for black in the top right. Barbs point it down the way. Let's see. I'll get this right this first time. Once, I think. Draw the power. Right, so it's pointing up the way. Okay. That's pointing up, that's clicked in, so it's quite easy when you get it in the right position, Raimondo so green barbs pointing up the way or the D pointing up towards you like that hope I can see that it's going to that position which is the next one to the black that's perfect and red is going to the next position barbs up the way click okay so they're all in comfortable with that and forget the module again we're going to be plugging in we'll go for this one first uh, that one and that one probably could have made a better job of the wires but okay so that's where that's all plugged in we've got the power supply on all we need is earth so I'm going to be focusing on tidying that up give me five minutes and we'll come back and we'll take it from there So here we are, and we've got the car running, um, and we're stuck for our cruise control. Is there? I'm just looking at the position yet. I suppose it's okay. I kind of get to know um, what it's doing. So what I've had is a quick look at the instructions. It's fairly straightforward. Try to see between there, so you put it on that we've got the green LED indicating it's running. You've got over here, we've got a plus and minus, so accelerate and decelerate. That's the on off button. So if you click that, it'll go back off, click it, it's back on. There go and the resume and the cancel buttons round the back button here you cancel that so the only thing to do now is to go and give it a test drive to see if the actual cruise control works so I'm just looking at the position of it I suppose you get used to it when I'm driving along I can see um, the green light which is good so I'm now at 50 kilometers an hour or 26, 27 miles an hour. So I'm now going to engage the resume. And it seems to be working. That's cool. when I went to an ambery type light <coughs> and if I go plus yeah, it's working, I'm going to 
cancel it now at the back. Yep, that worked. So I'll continue. It's not the best road to try it on actually because it's a bit bendy. But we've got a green light still on. I'm now going to hit resume. And there you go. Works. Perfect. It's accelerating itself. My feet not touching it. Touching the accelerator and it's cruising. Changing gear. So I'm now going to touch the brake just to see if it disables. I hope we can see that we light because it's kind of an orange, not green. I'll touch the brake, yep, it changed to green. Maybe not being able to see that with the steering wheel there. But I'm bloody delighted with that. That's fantastic. Back to <coughs> cruise again. Just give it a wee Plus, cancel, yeah that's cool, it's working. I don't think I'll ever use a limiter on it. I'll press resume again, and there you go, so I'm not actually touching the brake or accelerator at this point, so that was pretty successful, I'll be honest with you. And it's accelerating up the hill itself, it's dropped down into hang of third gear, still wants to go changing itself so again I'm not touching anything I'm actually quite pleased with that I'm okay with the position on it let's see if I can slow it down a wee bit as we come up to the 30 mile an hour limit 38 37 36 that was a couple of clicks still engaged with the orange light Cancel it now because I'm in a 30 mile an hour zone and it's slowing down using the accelerator. So, all in all, uh, a fairly straightforward installation for this El Grand. <coughs> a wee bit of a footery wire, as I said there, but it's one of the things I do miss. When I'm driving, my other car's got adaptive cruise control, which has got the radar on it. Obviously, this is not. Uh, but that's good enough for me. I just need to remember which car I'm driving because if I go on the adap adaptive cruise control, you tend to be less focused on it because the car's going to break on its own, depending on how far the car in front of you is. Whereas this one, you've got to be aware that you have to brake to disengage it. I did have a bit of a scare uh, when you guys weren't looking when I, I thought I'd go out and test drive it and I went to start the car and the car wouldn't start. It was turning over, doing everything it was supposed to be doing. I wouldn't start. It turns out that I put the fuse for the dash cam in the wrong fuse location and it wouldn't start so I just moved that luckily enough and it it worked fine so we're just going to turn around here so heading back home guys that was pretty successful I think the price of this just over 200 pounds I believe um, I will put a link in the description where I got this from I purchased it online and it was somebody on Facebook who had put this on uh, and I was interested in it and company, can't remember off the top of my name but you'll see it on the screen the now, oh, great, ordered it on Friday, got it here on Tuesday, FedEx next day but I think it was late Friday or Saturday ordered it I think so, they were pretty quick, no, uh, no hassle, no issues, all worked fine and pretty pleased with the result so on that said um, thanks for watching the video I know it's not my normal Range Rover content but you know I've got various cars and I really appreciate you watching the video and please like and share and I'll catch you on the next one cheers for now